Clarion call of industry sounds good morning to America's manpower. In thousands of homes, vigorous workmen rise to meet a new day and a new opportunity. I'm 44 years old, was born and raised here in Flint, Michigan. A third generation uh, GM worker. I'm an electrician and uh, uh, been president of UAW Local 651 for six years. I'm married with four children. Since the late 70s and early 80s, General Motors began closing its factories like this Chevrolet plant in Flint the city of its birth, moving them first to Mexico and later to China. This is the Dort Highway complex. The other side were 10,000 people were working. It's the first time I've been on here since they, since they tore everything down. The economic tornado that ripped through Flint uprooting GM factories and eliminating dozens of thousands of jobs was not an act of God, but a man-made disaster. An unavoidable disaster, we have been told, if we want to follow the theory of globalized free market, a market envisioned in the 19th century by two friends, David Ricardo and Thomas Malthus. This is the story of how contemporary economic and political interests helped to forge a globalized market in the name of 19th century ideas. <laughs> 